Yo, dudes and nudes, Die Harvesting here, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Clear. So last part, we defeated Morty, and we got ourselves the fourth badge, the Fog Badge. And uh, that means that we got four more left to go through. And uh, we also went into the Burnt Tower, where we met up with um, Yusin. Is that how you say his name? I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. Uh, but yeah, we met up with Yusin, who uh, basically told us that there's going to be... Something to do with uh, Suicune, and we fell down, we met up with uh, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou, just like in the original Crystal version, and that activated their events, where you can catch some of them in the wild, and Suicune's probably going to be a catchable legendary later on in the game. So yeah, and I mean, there's a bit of a different, like, um, twist to this game, obviously with the custom idea to it, so I can't really wait for, uh, I can't wait, like, to see what's going to happen next, really. Um, so yeah, today we're going to go up against the Kimono Girls, and I made sure that my team is ready to go. So everybody is at basically, well, I'll show you, Houndoom is at level 30, and everybody else is level 29. And I also added to my team a Natu. I thought that, like, well, I was deciding on getting myself like an EV, try to evolve it into an Espeon, so I'd have like a Psychic type in my team. But to be honest, Natu really fills in that, like, position because it also has a flying type um, to it so it kills two birds with one stone so yeah it's pretty decent pretty decent and it's ready to evolve as well so I saved it for this episode all right so let's just get into the first match of ours um, all right let's just talk to this guy actually this is the dude that gives us surf if I'm not mistaken ah, not only are the kimono girls great dancers they are also skilled at Pokemon I always challenge them but I've never even left a scratch lad Oh, so he's rich now. Lad, if you can defeat all the Kimono Girls, I'll give you a gift. All right, cool. That'll be, um, that'll be the Surf. And he's got a, uh, a Rhydon, wasn't it? Yeah. That's the thing about, like, Rhydon. Like, when I first played Pokemon, like, back years ago, I was surprised it could learn Surf. I was like, what the hell? Like, a ground rock type can learn Surf. Like, the most... <laughs> the thing that is, like, most effective, like, um, towards it is a water type. And it can, like, Surf in the water? What the hell? <laughs> Such a weird game, I'll tell you. That weird guy gave me an HM when he saw me training with the Kimono Girls. I really don't need it since I already have a Pokemon that knows Surf. Oh cool, you've got a few badges. I feel okay about letting you have this. Here you go. Wait a minute. So, huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> so we can just get it from him instead? That HM contains Surf. It may get a bit wet, but... <laughs> It's better than trying to swim alone. True that. I mean, you'll just get tired out as well if you're trying to, like, you know, swim in the middle of the ocean, in this case. Alright, let's go and check it out. So, we can try and teach it to, um, Quagmire. Quagmire, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna call it Quagmire. Nah, Quagsire. Alright, Quagsire. I'm gonna learn some surfing type moves. Alright, just get over Water Gun, because Water Gun's shit. And there we go. We got ourselves a good... Uh, uh, surf is actually good. Let's just be honest there, man. Surf is, like, a pretty damaging move. The kimono girls are so beautiful. But they have to go through rigorous training. And they have to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. But if you love something, anything is possible. That is very true. I mean, if you put in the dedication and everything, that'll be cool. Uh, who is, what's this guy going to say? That man's always with his ride on. Says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokemon? Yeah, like a uh, ride on swimming and dancing at the same time. You're definitely asking for the impossible here. Alright, so this guy is not going to say anything else. Nope. So, that means that he'll probably give us something else. But I mean, we already have surf. Ah, whatever. Anyway, let's just go for the challenge. So, we got Kimono Girl number one. Do you like my dancing? I'm good at Pokemon too. I can keep dancing because there are people who enjoy what I do. My Pokemon keep my spirits up too. Alright, so I completely forgotten that uh, they're at level 35. I thought they were level 30, like at most, but not level 35. 
Ah, whatever. You know what? I, I dug my grave, so I might as well dig in it. <laughs> or a lie in it, sorry, yeah. <laughs> so let me just heal up my hound team again. Because, uh, you know, I, I need to get him, like, up at the top. Make sure that he gets his level ups and shit. And let's try and face against someone that I know he's not weak against. So that's going to be a Vaporeon there because of her, uh, her blue dress. So what I'm going to do is switch around my team and make sure that Irisaur is up next. You know, make sure he goes up to level 30. Alright, hello. Oh, you're such a cute trainer. Would you like to battle? trained a lot so I thought I was a capable trainer I guess I'm not yeah that was a pretty rough match I'm not gonna lie I mean she was pretty good uh, the AI for this part is actually doing pretty decent actually <laughs> so yeah we might be in a tight spot here all right so next is gonna be okay so it's gonna be a flurry on next um, definitely not a good idea to have him up just saying all right let's just get like uh, let's get mm, eh, maybe not natty uh, dance boss, yeah, dance boss might be good. All right, dance boss, you're next. Isn't my barrette pretty? Oh, a Pokemon battle. Put a different flower in my bread every month. So yeah, that was a pretty weird match, man. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, everyone's trying to use fucking sand attack, man. That's so annoying. All right, like seriously, I thought that was gonna be a Flareon from like the red dress. They're really trying to trick me. Okay, so we have no idea who, who what she's gonna be using. Most probably an Espeon. Wait, if I remember from like back in when I last played, I think she's got an Espeon. She's got a Flareon. Whatever, let's just take our chances. I mean, we got Dunsparce, he's pretty natural. Uh, pretty natural. <laughs> he's, he's pretty, uh, she's pretty, um, what's it called? Balanced in this case, because it's a normal type. I always dance with my Pokemon. Of course, I also train them. Rhythm is important for both dancing and Pokemon. Yeah, especially if you want to play like Beat Mania and like Dance Dance Revolution. That's when you need rhythm. All right, so my team is pretty much uh, dying on me at the moment. Man, I tell you, man, this is pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but uh, let's see. So just move this around. Let's get Natsu up at the front. Um, and because I know he's gonna be using a flurry on anyway, but I highly doubt. Maybe actually no. Maybe she might even have a pursuit. I'm not gonna lie. So you know, no trusting the. Uh, the AI for this part of the game, they seem to be pretty smart, so I'm not taking my chances. Uh, I highly doubt that's going to do much, but let's just hope so. Let's just hope that she doesn't use it. <laughs> Alright. You have lovely Pokemon. May I see them in battle? I enjoyed that bout. I would like to see you again. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, someone actually enjoyed my company here. All right, so let's go and talk to the old dude. All right, what you got for me? Not only, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. 
The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take it. Clear bell. Wait. Oh, clear bell. Okay, fair enough. I was thinking of a different type of bell. Isn't it pretty? I think it fell from the tin tower. Wait, that clear bell? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check something out here. Can we actually go there now? If we give them this? I highly doubt it, man. Let's be honest here. <laughs> I was thinking of like the, um, yeah. Ding. <laughs> I wish I could use it. Uh, but yeah, no, I, f I was thinking of the, uh, that bell that you can put on your Pokemon that, like, increases their affection or something. Alright, so where to next? Let's see here. Um, actually, yeah, let's just go into, like, the tower place. Maybe. Just maybe. They might actually tell me anything about, like, the bell. So, who knows? So, yeah, that match against Flareon, I'll tell you, man. For some reason, their quick attacks was, like, really effective against me. I think it's because Flareon is also uh, part, like, more on the uh, attack base than it is on the special attack base. Alright, dude, I have the clear bell. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we said this before. Alright, never mind. So, he's not going to really say anything about the bell. Which is strange. I thought the bell had something to do with this. I guess it's only for, like, later on in the game. Uh, which, I guess, is natural. That would have been cool if they were like, Oh, the clear bell. But you're still not allowed in here. <laughs> that would have been cool. Alright, let's just go over here. Hey, dude. Where did you say you're from? Hmm. Come a long way to get here. Okay. <laughs> I just kept quiet the whole time and just like, oh, yeah. I know the NPC, like, silently talks. So, you know, it's one of those. All right, so we got a uh, random battle with this lady. Let's get Natsu to evolve, man. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Hey, hey, hey. Wait, wait. Alright, here we go. So now he's going to evolve now. Congratulations, your Natu has evolved into a Zatu. Nice. Is it going to learn anything? No. Ah, goddammit. Alright, what was the lady going to say? Sorry. When I see Pokemon, it seems to soothe my nerves. Yeah, I mean, playing the game itself does do that for me as well. <laughs> Alright, let's just use an antidote, and y'all gonna need an antidote, there we go. Alright, so, let's just move my team around. So, uh, yeah, Zatu's gonna be cool to learn, like, fly later on, uh, which will be a much better flying-type move than what it currently has as uh, Peck. Peck is pretty rubbish, man, let's be honest here. Actually, do we have any, like, good moves that we can teach it now, maybe? Uh, flash, I don't really need to teach it Flash. Shadow Ball, that could be a possibility. Although, in this game, I don't know if you might learn it, like, automatically on his own. Maybe. Maybe. I know there's a berry around here that we can pick up. Yeah, there we are. So we can give these berries to the, um, the mill tank that's sick in the farm. Uh, but out of that, we don't really get much except for, like, a free Moo Moo Milk or something, was it? I'm not sure what it was that they gave us. Alright. What's up, dude? Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. I plan to train in Seenwood City to teach my Pokemon how to fly. Or you can just get the fly, um, the HM, and you'll be done and good to go. Alright, let's move my team around. Let's try and level up Flaffy to level 30, so that'll be good. Alright, so who's next? Let's see here. Alright, so we got this girl. Alright, challenge me. Ah, you seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about giving me some advice?
All right, so we got two level ups and two evolutions here now already. That's good, man. All right, so now we got an uh, Ampharos. Yeah, boy. I really love like the design for Ampharos, man. All right, so Thunder Punch, yes. Exactly what I wanted, man. Thunder Punch is such a good move. Yeah, forget Thunder Shock. <laughs> it's a pretty shit move, let's be honest here. All right, so there we go. So we have an Ampharos in our team. And let's be honest here, man. Like almost everybody who's played like the old school uh, Crystal, Gold, and Silver has had an Ampharos as one of our, um, you know, like team members and anything. Like the main guys that we use. It's a, like, it's a really good Pokemon, let's be honest here, man. All right, so let's just get um, Dunsparce at the front and let's go into the next battle and make sure it levels up to level 30. Oh, look, it's a fucking Noctowl. As if I don't need one, really. All right, so we got another beauty girl. Yep. Don't you think my Pokemon and I are beautiful? Moomoo milk is good for beauty and health, but inconveniently, they sell only a bottle at a time. What is this, like the old generation? <laughs> uh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> exactly, like in the new future generations, you can just buy as many as you want. Here, it's like, no, only one per time. That sucks, man. Uh, but yeah, like we got a one-hit KO. I didn't even expect that. But uh, yeah, Don Sparse is putting in the effort, finally. Let me try something I learned today. to take so many tests. I don't have much time for Pokemon, so when I do, I get time to play, I really can't concentrate. Huh? Wait a minute, is that, the, is that thing a Pokedex? Have you met Professor Oak? Huh? You have? Wait, that's cool, man. I have a dream of becoming a Pokemon researcher like Professor Oak. May I please have your phone number? We should chat about Professor Oak. I'm sure it'll be loads of fun. Nah, I'm alright. Oh, I just... Wish I had the chance to meet him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just go and try and, I don't know, like, go all the way to the can uh, no, what was it? Johto. Johto? No, sorry. Kanto. I can't, I'm not thinking today, probably, man. Go to Kanto, and then you'll see him. Or maybe when he comes visits, uh, Johto. All right, so let's just move my team around. Kept on thinking about, like, um, like the way that uh, Dunsparce is just, like, completely wrecking everybody, man. Like, once it's on a roll, literally, it will fuck everybody up. I can't wait to like just use him against the Elite Four. <laughs> just keep using Rollout. Destroy everybody. Alright, got another dude. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. You know how Pokemon have different abilities? People are like that too. Everyone has a different potential. Yeah, like uh, they always say, man, like everybody's unique and different in their own way. Even though we're all mortal clones of everybody. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Gonna get into the conspiracy, like, ah, nobody's real, it's just a, uh, it's just a fucking hologram and this and that. I like how they changed the icon for like the uh, mill tank. So cute. I know there's like a nugget around here. Hey, see, look, speaking of nugget, I yeah, found it straight away. I was thinking, it's like, yeah, there must be an item around here. I'm pretty sure there was another thing here. Hold on. Nope. Okay, so that was it. Wait a minute, this is a shiny one? It's a shiny mill tank. Huh? Wait, can we fight it? Ah, oh, man, that would have been cool if we can actually fight it and, like, uh, catch it. Our milk even goes out to Kanto. So if our own milk tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. My milk tank ain't giving me milk. No more. This year's farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants to drink. It'll give me lots of milk. If and I feed it lots of berries, I reckon the poor thing will get sick of it. Twarn't even the first time. 
Wow, they really emphasized him having that fucking accent. I barely couldn't even understand what he was saying, <laughs> to be honest. Alright, so. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. Alright, let's give it a berry. Aw, oh, poor Moo. Alright. So, she's gonna need quite a bit. How many do I have, though? Are you serious? I already ran out. God damn it. I can't be bothered to go all the way back. She needs lots of berries. Okay. We'll be back. Don't worry. She doesn't die anyway, so that's good. In before the game actually makes her die. <laughs> That'll be peak, man. Holy crap. Such darling Pokemon. Let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. Is that in the window for something? Wait a minute. Is she a fucking trap? Jesus Christ. You know about baby Pokemon? I bet they're just adorable. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from you, man. Don't trust you. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's fight against this hiker dude. I think this is a good time to brag about my Pikachu. Oh no, he's just uh, a fanboy. Pikachu is it? Don't you agree? Nah, I think Pikachu is pretty overrated, man. Come on, it's not that good. Hello. You came at the right time. Let's battle. I met my Meowth at night right here on Route 39. I'm not sure why, but it seems to like it when I train here. It seems to become friendlier by training here than anywhere else. I think that's because that's where you first met, so that's why. Uh, that's that's one of the cool things about Pokemon. Like they really make it emphasize that like you can be friends with them like really well. I just got back to all the vine. So how about a Pokemon battle? My Pokemon were caught and raised overseas. They're my companions on those long voyages. Yeah, man, I, I really like voyages sometimes. They're, they're pretty cool, you know? Cruising the ship and everything. Sounds fun. Uh, trainer tips. Use headbutt on trees to shake up Pokemon. Different kinds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to just move my team around a little bit first. We finally made it to the next town or the city in this case. Uh, Olivine City. And I'm pretty sure Jasmine is not inside a gym just yet, but our... Okay, let's see here. So, Olivine, the port closest to foreign lands. It's because uh, you can take the ship all the way to the Kanto. That thing you have, it's a Pokegear, right? Wow, that's cool. Wow! Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Olivine City, Pokemon Gym, Leader, Jasmine. The Steel-Clad Defense Girl. She's pretty cool, actually. Alright, so this dude's here. Jasmine uses the newly discovered steel type. I don't know very much about it. Is she here? Wait, she's already here. Holy crap, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? Let's, let's face her, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Should we go and face her now? Maybe. Actually, yeah, you know what? We, we can go up against her. Might as well, just to have finished like, this episode. The sailor in the Olivine Cafe next door is really generous. He taught my Pokemon strength. Now it can move big boulders. Actually, yeah, let's go and get like the um, the strength HM first. Uh, it would be from this dude. Ha! <laughs> Your Pokemon sure like look like wet lightweights. Jeez, I can't speak. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this and teach them strength. All right, so we got two HMs today. Surf and strength. Not bad. On the sea, the only thing you can count on is your own good self. I'm so proud of my <laughs> my buff bod. All right, keep it down, Chad. Olivine's cafe menu is chock full of hearty far for beefy sailors. Hey, what about us, Lot? I really, Ralph. I have no time for you. 
Hiya, it's uh, Uncle Ralph. Listen, I... Ow! Uh, sorry, see, crawfish are biting like there is no tomorrow. Over here on Route 32. Oh, cool. Hey! <laughs> Ouch, one stabbed me, or jabbed me, sorry. Well, technically they fucking stabbed you, but yeah. <laughs> There's some kind of feisty, I tell ya. Harvest, you have to see this rare sight. Get ready to fish. You can call your mom sometimes, too. Don't tell me what to do, man. Jesus Christ. What is this with this guy, man? Come on. Alright, so we found leftovers, which is a pretty good uh, item, actually. So, let's give it to... Actually, who should we give leftovers to? Hmm. Uh, let's give it to... Um, let's give it to Amphros, you know? Fuck it. And I know I should have the, uh, um, the shark beak. That was it. And give that to Zatu. Even though it's... Uh, you know, his current flying type move is kind of shit, but, you know, whatever. Whenever I roll into this town, I always visit the Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. And I can't stop eating. Yeah, just don't eat too much, otherwise you'll become too fat to be a sailor. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the market, get some potions, get some Pokeballs, maybe. Alright, they only have, like, great balls. Pretty crap, let's be honest here. Alright, how many can we get, anyway? Uh, let's just get five for the case here. Alright, let's go and fight against Jasmine then. Uh, oh wait. <laughs> so, uh, let me just go in here because I know he gives us the fishing rod too. Oh wait right there, do you like the fish? You do? I knew it. <laughs> I'll let you have this then. It's a good rod. Hey, what's good? That there is a good rod. I use it myself. There are a lot of places out there to fish in. You just have to find a good spot. I heard that just south of a place called Blackthorn there's a secret spot where you can fish for dragons. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's in, um, uh, behind the, uh, the gym itself. That's where you can get it. Of course, that's where you can actually catch a, a Dratini, by the by. Alright, let's go in here. And, well, you can get Dratini in, like, the, uh, the casino place as well. But, uh, I can't be honest with that. <laughs> Alright, let's face against Jasmine. Please, allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that it was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Yeah, all right, let's get into it. Let's just jump right into it, as Philly D would say. <coughs> all right, so here we go. Magnemite. So I got, I got Ivysaur up front. Ooh, okay, uh, yeah, we're definitely facing up against a pretty good level, I'm not gonna lie. Like, uh, the previous matches we were having there were like level 20s. I was like, maybe I overpowered my Pokemon. But uh, going up against this dude, or this chick in this case, it's, uh, it's a bit of a bargain. It's a bit more than what we bargained for. Let's just say that. But uh, hopefully we can get some critical hits with Razor Leaf because I know you can get quite a lot of good ones like that. See? Told ya. <laughs> I swear, man, like, Razor Leaf is so fucking broken in this. Alright, she's gonna be using a potion, I bet. Oh, never mind. She never used it. Maybe we might have a chance then, after all. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So one hit. One hit down. Alright, so Magnemite again. All I'm looking for is Steelix. Use a Leech Seed on Steelix, and then pass over to someone else. Who I'm gonna use, I have no idea. Because I'm pretty sure it knows like Rock Slide or some shit. Great, I get Thunder Wave. It's trying to use tactics against me, man. The same tactics I use. Alright, hopefully it won't be too powerful. I think that uh, Steelix is going to be like level 32, if I'm not mistaken. Either level 30 or level 32. One of those levels. But hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Otherwise, we just have to use Houndoom. Good. Trying to paralyze me and fucking confuse me? Hell no. Alright, that's pretty simple, man. Ivysaur's putting in the effort. Alright, let's see here. Steelix. Nope, I'm alright. Man, that jawline though. Jesus Christ. Okay, so it is just level 3. Well, Tempered Steel will hang on to the very last. We shall see about that, mate. We shall see. Hey, it's using the Rude Sandstorm. <laughs> alright, so we got Leech Seed. So that basically counterattacks your... Um, uh, your sandstorm effect on me. So let's just use Razor Leaf. That shouldn't do too much damage on us because we're grass. Oh wait, no. Never mind. It does normal damage. Well, shit. 
Did not figure that out. Yeah, about that. But luckily we do normal damage in this dude. But I think we might have just died because, um, yeah, uh, if he can, like, hit me with uh, an iron tail, we're dead. But, or just using the high proportion. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind about that, bro. Luckily, we haven't been paralyzed yet. I'm saying that now, and I bet I'm going to get paralyzed next. Come on. You can hit this guy. One more time. One more time. Ah, shit. She got the lucky hit. Because usually Iron Tail misses quite often, so I was hoping that she would miss, but never mind. Alright, who should we go up with next? Um, Dunspar is not really a good move for this kind of battle. Uh, let's get... Let's get Quagsire. Yeah, let's get Quagsire, because I, I'm sure I can use Surf, because it's ground type. So, yeah, Surf. Hit him out, and he's done. That should be it, really. Boom. See, Surf came in handy, I told you. What, what did I tell you, man? Alright, defeated. That was an easy match, man. I'm not gonna lie. You are a better trainer than me. In both skill and kindness. In accordance with the league rules, I confer upon you this badge. Got 3,000 for winning. Not bad. Alright, so we got the mineral badge. Not too bad. So we got a lot accomplished this episode, man. Um, please take this too. That's going to be Iron Tail. I don't know who I'm going to teach that to, to be honest. But I might as well use it. You could use that TM to teach Iron Tail. Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Ah, she's so shy, but she's so cute as well. I'm definitely going to be using, like, this gym to, um, to, like, train up and stuff. That was awesome. The Steel type, huh? <laughs> that was a close encounter of an unknown kind. Come on, it's not an alien, man. It's not like we're fighting against the Oxus here. So winning trainers harvest. Uh, yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot I was like training in another uh, place. So what we could do next episode really is maybe face against like the tower here. Uh, not well, not the tower, sorry, the uh, the lighthouse, the lighthouse, also known as the glitter lighthouse. Yeah. Okay, so there must be something here that's like new. Man, just r looking at this place just reminds me of like the Pokemon Glazed um, playthrough that I done. Still need to finish, by the by. <laughs> but yeah, that like one tower with the challenges, that was so annoying. I'll eventually get back on that, but I just want to finish this playthrough first. Alright, so guys, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed this part. We got a lot accomplished. We got ourselves some HMs and shit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll be going around with my team to make sure it's like... Tra Actually... Yeah, everyone is at a pretty decent level at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll probably just give them some HMs and uh, TMs, get them stacked up and ready for the next episode. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, like I said. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye.